Hey everyone, this is me, Satya here, and I'm back with another reading, which is going to be for all of you out there really want to know what is it that is coming true for you that you really don't see coming. What shall you prepare yourself up for in the coming next seven days time? This reading will help you know that. Uh, so stick around and just be mindful. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see. What you really don't see coming in your life in the next seven days time? Let's begin. One, two, three, and four. Let's see. What you really don't see coming in your life in the next seven days time? Let's begin. We do have the regrets and mistakes. I really feel like in the first time of you, there is a specific someone who is regretting something. Um, it can be you for some of you, but I really feel like you know it's then it's 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 an incoming energy uh, from a specific someone who might have done wrong to you. Uh, somebody acknowledges that um, they have made a mistake and probably they they be feeling apologetic about it. They do have the regrets about their decisions, is what I see. I really feel like you know for some of you, the time of this person is changing. Like you know maybe in the earlier they were like um pretty much like controlling this connection that they have with you, and now it's the opposite. Now times are changing, and they are changing too. I really feel like you know for some of you um. I really feel like you know, there is something to do with the time and timings. Uh, maybe when you and this person were together, the time was not right. And now things are changing. Time is changing. And I really feel like, you know, um, something different is going to happen in regards to this connection that you have. For some of you, if it is something related to your work, maybe your boss, your your colleagues, co-workers, um, or anybody at your work front that had issues with you, I really feel like, you know, with the changing times, Things are changing and probably that person really wants to get you back in their in their you know job um situation like you know maybe they they want you back if they kicked you out now they're regretting their decision or something like that but yes i really see somebody regretting in the days to come and you are gonna hear them apologize is what i see here we do have the intuition and inner knowing i really feel like you know for some of you you already know who we are talking about here and um, you already knew that it is going to happen some for some reason. You knew that, um, you know, this person would regret. This person would hate themselves for um, not, um, you know, giving you what you deserved, uh, you know, and um, and made you feel like you're unworthy of their time, love, attention, um, appreciation, if it is applicable to your love life, uh, work life. But I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you, your intuition is going to be pretty much on point. And if you can pick up a person's energy and you know already who is that person going to be, I really feel like, you know, your intuition is telling you the right thing. We do have the single parent responsibilities. For some of you, this person could be... Um, parent of your child this person can also be a single parent um maybe you are dealing with a person who is a single parent and maybe the things ended between you and this person unexpectedly and uh, maybe because of their kids maybe because of their family but yes there is some sort of regret is what i see coming in uh somebody's really not happy uh with their decisions is what i see here so we do have the fears afraid i really feel like you know somebody really wants to take action towards you but they are scared uh, they really think that what if you don't give them a chance or what if you don't allow this person to be back in your life? Uh, so there is uh, somebody out there who really wants to connect to you, who really wants to reach out, who really wants to apologize. So I really see somebody from the past is afraid to approach you, um, but they are trying to connect to you intuitively. For some of you, you might be on the receiving end of uh, uh, telepathic messages coming from this person as well. I see here as well. So there is somebody who wants to get back with you. Um, Let's see more about it. Let's see what else can we get to know about this person and what do they want to say here? What do they want to say here? Listen to your heart. Okay, um, now is not the time and you make my heart full, definitely. I really feel like, you know, like I said earlier, I feel like you know, earlier maybe this person really believed that this is not the time for them to fall in love or to give you time and stuff like that. But now, when, uh, you know, in the coming next seven days time, you will see this person feeling like, I wish I had not said that. I wish I was not, uh, you know, not pushing you away um, because you make my heart full and I really want you to be around. So there is some something definitely shifting here in this person's heart and mind for you is what I see here. 
Oh, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, this person really, um, this person is definitely somebody from the past or somebody that you are recently, like, you know, um, have stopped talking to. I sometimes wonder if you care. I really feel like, you know, this person is somebody who, um, who, um, who really feels sometimes that, you know, probably like, you know, even, you know, or maybe even after you have ended connection, you probably never reached out or tried to con contact this person. And this person uh, really feels like, um, do you even care if they are a part of your life or not? Um, they really have those concerns, those um, fearful thoughts, which is also probably stopping this person from reaching out to you right now. But in the next seven days time you will hear from them i want you to choose i really feel like you know, this person is definitely going to take action towards you you're so beautiful why do you need me i really feel like you know, they do have your you know their fears uh and insecurities your person could be very insecure this person can be somebody that you are in touch with already but just that they are like you know acting weird with you and they really know that uh, you make them very heartful, but at the same time, maybe they have responsibility. Maybe they have kids, kids with another partner, so they are not sure. Shall they? Shall they? Um, you know, be with you or not? Because probably they cannot provide you with much, and you know, maybe they are a single parent, and you are like completely single, and they really sometimes wonder, like you know, because you're so beautiful, you're so perfect. Do you even care if they stay in your life or not? So there is like some some sort of fearful thought that I see coming in for you. Uh, this person has like you know, um, maybe maybe they have made a mistake, uh, back in times as well, and uh, you know, um. They, they still have that thing, like maybe because they are a single parent, maybe they have hidden that from you and they really wonder if, if you're going to give them a chance if they tell you the truth or not. But this person is definitely going to take action towards you in the next seven days. You're going to hear from them and uh, they will let you know that you are important to them. Um, they want you to listen to your heart around them. Try not to take any um, action based on uh, you know what other people are telling you. They want you to listen to your heart. Uh, and decide based on that uh, listen to your heart and follow your heart when you are taking a decision around this person here so let's see what is the message from the divine around this connection that you have with this person what is your message from the divine what is it message from the divine Open yourself to others. This is how you will create new friendships and attract a love relationship. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, uh, the divine really wants you to open yourself up to meet and be with new people. Maybe this person is toxic, narcissistic, uh, and you need to know that. And I feel like you know, maybe you, you know, depending on this person is not good for you. So the divine really wants you to open up yourself to other people, meet and be with other people as well. Try not to think too much about this person. Whoever it is, you know already, you intuitively know who I'm talking about here. And the, the divine really wants you to attract more love, more friendships in your life, rather than like, you know, staying, you know, stuck on this person because they are not probably good for you. Letting go, if someone leave you confused more than converted, you need to reassess their access to you. I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, they are fearful for a good reason because I really know, feel that this person knows that they have been really not good towards you and that is why they are having that regret at the same time they're fearful to reach out to you they know that you are beautiful you're young you are happening you're wonderful you're handsome and they really feel that you know what if you don't give them a chance so if they see somebody reaching out to you or will want to connect to you you might see this person in your dreams a lot in the coming times because you would want, uh, you would, you would uh, probably not want to give this person a chance, and this person would want to uh, get back with you, and um, you know, it's it's just gonna um, be a situation where probably you're gonna pick up that this person is trying to communicate to you and want to be with you, but it's gonna be your call, your decision whether you want to give them a chance or not. But in the next seven days time, you will see this person changing towards you. Um, and they want to talk to you, they want to communicate to you, they are fearful, but at the same time, the divine really believe that this person is not something that you deserve. Uh, you need to open yourself up to other possibilities for sure. So yeah, that's what I see coming through for you for the next seven days time. If it was of help, don't forget to like, share and subscribe till I do the next read. Take care. Bye.